welcome to my channel. We have great news. The wall in the plant room that needed work has been done and now the room is ready for the plant stands to be installed and the lights. And so I have assembled my first Trinity shelving unit and I have two others still to go. And I have started assembling and putting together the Barina LED plant lights. And then I realized that I could make a video to show it to you guys. So this is what it is uh, like now. And here is what it looked like when I just unboxed it. It came with six lights that you see here inside and then 12 reflector sheets, two for each light. And I have already started inserting the reflector sheets in the lights. And there is still one more remaining that I will show you later how I inserted them. And then it came with all sorts of other important components and so these are the plug and play three cords with switches then there are connecting cords I think there's five of them for connecting the lights because the lights are linkable and they can be linked up to six lights which is exactly what we have in the Barina light package and then it came with the uh, clips to connect the lights to the shelving unit and the double sided tape and all sorts of other connections and I will not be using some of them like for example this double sided tape I will not be using it because I will be using the clips and some additional hooks that I had purchased separately to hang the lights on the shelving rack. Each light fixture is four feet long and the diameter of the bulb is T8 or one inch. As far as the light specs, um, we only know that the power here is 42 watt and it's a full spectrum. So uh, we don't really receive here any parameters for what kind of light color temperature or light intensity it is. Uh, we don't get the kelvins and the lumens here. We can just rely on the parameter that it is full spectrum. So a little bit about full spectrum grow lights. I have researched a lot. I'm not a scientist and I don't understand fully how the um, uh, full spectrum works but from what I understand based on my research is that there is no such thing really as a full spectrum grow light. Uh, full spectrum is a term rather that is used by the LED light manufacturers to market this product to plant growers um, telling that this uh, full spectrum grow light is the type of light that most closely resembles the sunlight. Uh, I will include a link to an interesting article that I recently found uh, to those of you that are interested in reading more information about the full spectrum LED grow lights and how they work. And let's get to work now and finish assembling the LED grow lights. The first step is to insert the reflector sheets that came with the lights into the slits that are on each side of each light. So you can see the vertical slits right here and this is where the reflector sheets slide into. I was able to successfully insert the reflectors into four of the light fixtures 
So these are all ready to go. They have a reflector sheet on each side and the reflector sheet is there to protect our eyes from the light and also to help uh, diffuse or distribute the light into the wider surface. And here is how you insert the reflector sheet into the light fixture. Just like that. The last two lamps, lamp number five and number six, were not that easy because one of the um, sides where the reflector goes in was so um, narrow that I was only able to get this particular one in using this little helper. It looks a little intimidating, but basically what I was doing, I put it vertically and I tapped uh, on the edge ever so gently um, to uh, insert it because it was otherwise it was just not going in. And important here also to know that this aluminum material is very uh, thin. So it gets uh, bended if you're not careful when inserting the reflector sheet into the light fixture. And lamp number six has proven the most challenging because this is as far as I was able to insert it. And at this point I can't get it in and I can't get it out of the light fixture. So what I'll be doing, I think I'll just be cutting it off at this point and then maybe trying and inserting it into another end. I will be using the garden scissors to cut the reflector sheet. Hopefully this will work. Just like that. All right, so mission accomplished or at least somewhat accomplished. And then because here it's also bended, I will try and cut this piece off and then try inserting the rest of the reflector where it's straight into the opposite end of the lamp. All right, so I cut off the banded aluminum reflector pieces and I got this remaining piece that looks visibly straight. However, when I was trying to insert it from the other end to meet this piece here, um, the opening was so narrow here that it got stuck at this point and you can see that this opening here would work quite well, but then it gets completely jammed on this end. And so what happens is I can insert it all the way up to here, but not further. It just completely shut. So what I will have to be doing is um, to substitute for that missing piece of the reflector is maybe use some thick aluminum foil. I think the other side should work fine. Let me try the last remaining reflector. So we just need to make sure that the slit here goes into this opening here. See, it slides quite easily. So there's no problem on the other side. Next, we have 12 of the clips, two for each lamp, and I will be putting them on top of each light fixture like so they snap on very easily so i'll put one on one side and they slide as well so you can put them anywhere in the lamp i put one on one end and another one 
on another end here. Like so. That's it. And then I will be using these hooks just to hang them on my shelves, just like that. Or you can use the double-sided tape instead of the clips to affix the lamps to the bottom of the shelf. Or you can even mount the top lights to the ceiling using these screws. But as I said, I'll just be using these hooks. Very simple. This is what the lamps look like when they're mounted on the shelves. This is a very simple setup. I appended some foil to the last lamp that only had a partial reflector here. So hopefully it will work. I just folded the foil a few times and put the clip on top. Now all lamps are ready to be connected or linked between each other. We will be using these linking cords and we have five of them. And I will also be using one plug and play cord with this on and off switch. So the first connection that I will be making will be um, here to the electrical outlet and I will turn it on or connect it to the power at the very end once I'm done. But the first connection here to the first lamp will be the closest to the electrical outlet. So it will be this light bulb right here. And then the next connector will go to connect the same lamp, the very first one that we will be connecting to electricity uh, here. And then we will be connecting the opposite end of the cord to the second lamp. I will connect them all right now and then I'll show you at the end what it looks like. The connection cords are 48 inches long, so um, I tidied it up by just making the remaining length of the cord in a circle and then I just uh, affixed it to the shelf using a piece of wire. Then I connected the next one from the opposite side and then I spiraled it up around the pole of the uh, shelving rack and connected it to the lamp on the second shelf. I have now linked up all six lamps and the very last one has an opening here that I will be closing with the cup and the cups were provided here in six packages for connectors so I'll just be using one of these cups to close the last lamp just like so that's it so now let's connect it to the power and see the moment of truth if all of these lamps will be working so let's check it out And we'll turn the on switch and here we go. All six of them are working and they're very bright. And thankfully to the reflectors, they're not too bright or, you know, they're not as bright as to hurt our eyes when we're looking at the plant stand. So. I'm very happy about the result. I'm going to hook up the 
regular shop LED lights to the second stand that I have assembled in the meantime. And then I will compare the positioning of the lights, of the shop lights on the stand and the Barina lights. The brand of the shop lights that I use for my plant stands is called Sanko Lighting. And these are a four pack of four feet long lights. Each of them is 5,000 Kelvin color temperature and 4,100 lumen in light intensity. To connect the shop lights to the shelf, I use regular zip ties uh, like these and they are seven inch long. And so I just connect it and then just pull it um, to regulate the height of the light above the shelf and then trim the excess zip tie with scissors. I turned the lights on on both stands so we can compare what these look like side by side. So on the left side we have Barina LED full spectrum plant grow lights and on the right side we have regular stationary LED shop lights. We can see here that the shelf under the Barina lights is lit more evenly throughout the entire surface of the shelf and that is because the lights are at a distance from each other and therefore they distribute the light more evenly across the entire surface as opposed to the shop light here we see that the center of the shelf is lit better than the edges so on each side there is a little less light than in the center immediately under the shop light so there are also two bulbs here in led regular shop light just like the barina lights there we also have two bulbs on each shelf but because we cannot customize the shop lights we are basically just left uh, with only one option to have the center of the shelf lit more intensely than the sides of the shelf so i will now start populating these with my african violets plants and other gisneria plants and then i will keep you guys updated on how well each of these lights work for my african violets stay tuned